taking the American case in, in the 1930s through the 1970s, there was a sense on the American left that what bound us together was the fact that we were citizens with a common destiny, with a few basic shared values of solidarity and equal protection under the law. And this kind of American liberalism was capable of attracting people in every part of the country. But as time went on, a different kind of identity politics grew up, more in tune with the individualism of our neoliberal age. Beginning in the 1990s, a new kind of identity politics based not so much on shared political program, but on individual personal identity and how one saw oneself. So questions of gender identity and racial identity and so on became not so much political questions as interior psychological ones. The debate shifted from how to achieve justice outside in the world through politics to how to receive recognition within society. And so I, a kind of cultural politics grew up on the left that focused on universities, on the media, on Hollywood, and on changing Americans' minds and intuitions about social acceptance, which it, in, in most respects was a very good thing. But when that turn within happened, American liberals turned away from the project of creating larger coalitions, stating a larger goal, and setting out a vision for the entire country. The American left response was always to respond to and accentuate our differences among people rather than on what we shared, to the extent that the very word we became questioned, fell into question. Well, this kind of cultural politics um, withdrew a lot of energy, um, this cultural politics, from electoral politics and created an opportunity for a very radical right in America to begin taking over our political institutions. And liberals in the left have not been able to mount a serious challenge to that because it would require going to states where people are religious, overwhelmingly white, rather traditional in their views about men and women and family, and convincing them that you have a common goal and a common interest. Especially among the young in Europe today, more interested in more interest in American style identity politics, but mainly the parties have just gone to defeat because they've been unable to express what it is we share together. And in particular, have not been able to address themselves to a shared citizenship and the question of who is and who is not citizens. And that means the question of immigration. So the question of personal identity in the United States is like the problem of immigration in Europe. These are the roadblocks that prevent the left today from recapturing the attention of their publics at large and seizing power back from the radical right in our time.